Look, Skeleton Man, we finally made it here. The end of our vacation. We made it to France. Look around. Take in the sights, the smells. All right, well, not so much the smells. Don't look like that. I'm the one who hates traveling, not you. Look, we'll find the Eiffel Tower and we'll take a picture. Excuse me, sir. Um, qui es la Tour Eiffel? La Tour I fell. <laughs> Let's talk about the protests in France today. Now you may be wondering, all right, why are these protests happening? I saw a little bit about it. Or you also might be wondering, uh, what, what are you talking about, dude? Is protests going on in France? Is there like a World Cup going on or something? Maybe. But this is completely different. What's going on is French citizens have been hitting the streets for the past several weeks now to protest gas tax increases. Now, this group on the streets is known as the Yellow Jackets. Now, who are the Yellow Jackets? Well, the Yellow Jackets are a group of motorists who are on the street. They're protesting the tax. The Yellow Jacket that you see here is mandatory equipment to keep in your vehicle when you're a French motorist. It's kind of like in Florida, where it's mandatory to have a 0.1 BAC whenever you drive a truck. Take that, Florida, you drunks. So who actually are the people in the street? Are they soccer hooligans? Are they college kids? Are they ideologues? No, they're uh, regular, everyday French people. Now, now, how do I know this? Because they're protesting on the weekend. They have stuff to do Monday morning. They need to get this done on their free time. Mainly, they are people from the rural areas of France. These are people in agriculture, transportation, people who have to drive a little further than the average city dweller to get to where they need to go. Now, this tax increase is going to hurt them drastically. So, they're out here protesting, trying to get some change in there. Now, where did this tax increase come from? Do you remember the, the Paris Climate Accords, right? The ones that we didn't sign and was going to cause the end of the world? Yeah, things seem to be doing all right here. But over there, those taxes are causing a huge amount of problems. I heard the French government will try to ease up on this gas tax, but I don't think it's going to work. You see, this has evolved into something completely different. It is now a protest on the cost of increased living in France. You see, the euro can't buy a baguette like it used to, or rent, or gas, or wine, or stinky cheese, or, or mimes, or sarcasm and condescension. Look, this is what happens when French people can't afford that anymore. It gets ugly. That's, that's basically what's going on in France. Like the quick rundown, of course, there's more stuff going on. And I'm sure some French people can tell me exactly and be like, oh, you Americans, you know nothing. Yeah, I'll tell, you. tell me, tell me, go ahead. But um, the, the second part of what's going on is why haven't you been hearing about it? This is big news. Right now in France, Two-thirds of French people support the Yellow Jackets. The president of France, Macron, has about, I think it's a 75% disapproval rating. This could turn, he might have to resign, realistically. Uh, or it might change the entire government of France. This could, I've read things and it said, uh, people, people are talking about uh, another revolution where this place is known for it. <laughs> They're sharpening up the guillotines. But, that's, that's speculation at the moment. But the second thing is, why have we not heard about this, especially in America? Now, uh, let's check out the, the news sources I got. Let's check out the news. So we're on CNN. Uh, are they gonna talk about this? This is, this is the million dollar question, the, the million dollar euro question. 
Yeah, million dollar year, I'll stick with it. Now, now the main reason why we didn't see anything about this is uh, uh, this one here, this, this big, uh, this, this, this Bush guy, you know, we, we have to talk about him. Uh, of course, that's, that's gonna eat up the media coverage and I think they got lucky with that one. All right, so just kind of, just ignoring all this up here, let's move down. Uh, news and buzz. Shh, don't see it. Don't see it. Uh, some Mark Zuckerberg stuff. I don't even see it. Uh, the world section. It's down here. Francis suspend fuel price hike after the yellow jacket. All right. It's it's all the way down here on the second page. All right. Let's, let's check out MSNBC. Uh, Mueller, Mueller, Trump. Nah, not not really on here. Huffington Post. Flynn, Mueller. Russia collusion, uh, not on here. Oh, Tom Cruise, well, what's Tom Cruise up to? Tom Cruise. I'm taking a quick break from filming to tell you the best way to watch Mission Impossible Fallout or any movie you love at home. Uh, all right, well, Tom. I have to watch this video, I'm not watching the video. All right, let's move on, let's see. Maybe we gotta get closer to the problem. Let's let's find out what uh, the British are saying about it. George Bush, George Bush, George Bush. Uh, we're not pretending to be black. Black fishing. Uh, all right, well, it's not here. It's, oh, here we go. But this is, we're gonna see a lot more of this, a lot more videos talking about, or articles talking about global warming. How it's the biggest problem facing us at the moment you live in France. Let's go to the world section. Uh, another CO2 emissions. So we're just, they have to be talking about France somewhere. I mean, they are basically neighbors. They've had a long history between the two nations. And you think, you think really the British would love to, you know, put one on France, you know, shit on them a little bit. But, uh, N nowhere to be seen. Oh, let's see, football phrases. Oh, wait, wait, there we go. Here we go. Will the victims, will the environment be the true victims of France's riots? I think it's gonna be the people of France. I don't know about you, but I think they're gonna be the, the real victims. ABC News. Not, not, not there. It's just not there. Not there, all right. New York Times. It's gonna be here, I did see it. Now here we go, another greenhouse gas emissions, speeding freight train. Now, a lot of global warming stuff here. Mm, let's see, where's, where's she at? All the way down here. There's, there's nothing for France. Let's look up F-R-E-N. F R A. Wow, all right. How Francis Yellow Jackets. Again, we're not seeing this information. Now, why aren't we seeing it? I guess to answer the question why this hasn't been covered in the United States, well, it's quite simple. I mean, George Bush died. I mean, what are we going to talk about? Anything else? One of our guys died, one of the great ones. We're not talking about anything else. And the other reason is, uh, quite simply, France is a totally separate country from the United States. It's in another continent. It's across the ocean. Look, they have a massively inflated currency that it can't purchase what it used to. They have a rapidly disappearing middle class who is increasingly getting angrier. They have a government who won't even address a migrant crisis going on within their own borders. They have a wildly unpopular president. I mean, could you imagine if any of that was going on here? It'd be awful. Awful. 